Argent's corruption has spread farther, Perindon. Closer to you and Selene. Yes, this is unfortunate. I will do what I can. But Selene, she is difficult to persuade at best. Selene might have been less difficult if you hadn't chosen to make her the subject of your research. It's a moot point. We just need to convince her that the dragon is a greater enemy than Corindon. I, oh, that stench! Why must this dragon's blight smell so bad? A dragon, Marcelok, has made its lair on the other side of this mountain. I don't know why, but its presence is corrupting the wilderness in this valley, and it's creeping farther with every passing day. Soon, it'll reach the green. I have King Camoran's blessing to petition the nature spirit Selene to help us protect Valenwood from Marcelok's poison. It's a gamble, but it's all we've got. Even that might not be enough. I don't suppose you're the betting type. Selene is in Corindon's study, a cave down this path. Not far, but the Blight has the wildlife on edge. Even the ones who aren't sick are terrified and ready to attack anything that comes near. If you could clear a safe path for us, I'd be grateful. I'm Alan Wen. You could call me something of a mediator. I propose this plan to the King. Despite what Corindon's done, I believe I can convince Selene to ally with us against Marcelok. You were on that expedition, then? I'm all too aware of Corindon's actions, but the fact of the matter is we need them both. They'll have to put aside their differences, or Marcelok will corrupt them along with this valley. Even Corindon sees that. Gadnalon represents Elden Root. I have the king's blessing, but he's the one with the authority to speak for our kingdom. It took more leverage to persuade Corindon than I could have negotiated on my own. Altruism isn't in his vocabulary. When the dragon arrived, his words boomed through the valley, and the wilds around his roof started to take on an unnatural aspect. I don't know why Marcelok is twisting the land, but I have no doubt he's the cause. Only that it affects the flora and fauna alike, poisoning and twisting them. If they're lucky, they die. I'm hoping Selene can fight back against the Blight. Otherwise, we might not even make it to Marcelok at all. Like sending an army to kill the dragon? Elgin Root tried that. No one's seen them since. Quite a loss for a safe bet. All the king had to risk on my plan was Gadnalon. Not that mediating between Corindon and Selene isn't a health hazard. Then I'll need a new plan. I don't see the lot of us defeating Marcelak without her. Keep your fingers, toes, tails, and eyes crossed. A okay. cave?
to dissect me, Warlock. Sense bargain! We're not torturers! I've come to restore the balance here. Am I to understand you're a follower of Zen? Return my freedom, and I will right the wrongs done here. Unbind her, Corinda. Unwise. I shall loosen my hold only. Now for payment in kind. It's my turn to study your insides, Warlock. <laughs> long enough to see there is a bloody dragon turning this place into a fetid latrine. I concede your point. This dragon blight is a threat to you, Selene. You will not overcome it without me. I'll need to draw on more than you to oppose Barcelona. You, Bosma, must be my connection to the green. Whatever you need, Selene, we'll support you. If you attempt to enthrall them, I won't hesitate to bind you and find a less bothersome place to study you.
can I help you? Good. Underestimating us will be his undoing. And he won't be laughing much longer. I'll give you only the slack you need, huh? No more. Now sniff out the dragon before he is us. My mouth tastes like a compost. I can feel it everywhere. Apologies for any harm I caused. releasing me from that monster. There, that writhing mass is the source of the cancer in this cavern. It must be purged. Leave it. Its proximity is already beginning to taint you. Destroying it weakens Marcelot's hold.
I said we should be conserving our energy. Ignore him. I feel better already. My gratitude for releasing me from that Feel the 
lost interest. I am no one's pet. No, nor the elves plaything. But you could be so much more. You'll pay dearly for all of this, dragon. Go, protect Celine. We'll give her everything we have.
you won't escape. I'll hunt you to the ends of the world. I didn't really hurt him. This crazy plan might actually work. Your confidence is heartening. We've driven Marcelok back to his lair. But the battle will not be finished until the dragon is dead or ensnared. He deserves the worst you can do, Warlock. But I won't give you the satisfaction. We're cleansing all of this corruption. That includes its source. He's up there, by that spire. The fight's everywhere. We have to hurry.
He's much stronger here. He's trying to wrest control of Selene. Hurry! Finish this before Marcella corrupts anyone else. Use my glyphs to purge the blight, just like before. If you won't submit willingly, I'll just have to bend your knees for you. Agree to lend you the Queen's aid. I expect payment from your king promptly. You don't speak for me, Oathbreaker. Your promises aren't worth the air you waste speaking in. Hey, hey! That's not so hard to do. I confess, I didn't think our luck would hold there in the end. But Zen was watching over us today. You too. I don't believe this plan could have been successful without you. Here. This was a gift from King Kamoran. It's yours now. Payment in kind. With some gratitude on the house. You got what you wanted. Honor the pack and release me. The wood elves made that foolish bargain. I never agreed to it. Sire! I'll tear you! Again, you prove yourself too dangerous to let roam. Perhaps. Brandon, no! I won't let you break our dreaming!
most difficult to persuade. My enchantments are the I hope you're here to tell me of your tremendous victory, and not the kind that involves the local tavern wench. Well, the giant spider woman? Oh, that must have been a sight. She catch the dragon in a huge web and wrap him up as a neat little present for you? Not much of a challenge if you ask me. Did you not want your... You fulfilled your pledge even if you had help from a vengeful nature spirit. Can't say I wouldn't enjoy beating a dragon like a festival effigy given the opportunity. Just give the next one a fighting chance. Here's your key and cut. I've killed hearthwives with more spine. Take the pledge and prove otherwise. Thank you. 
Aid for a poor wretch. Ah, the bursap. Catch my heel again? A mark? One who fights for coin? Spare some, will you? Mine's run off. Dallying with a light catch, sure. Will it? Pleasure, bursap. Shadows keep you safe. Stendhal protect you. Traveler, a mo Honor and faith, Wayfarer. Blade Master Kasura awaits you at the Watch House in the city of Davin's Watch. She requests you join her there at once. I do not have all the details, but I believe it has something to do with a Dragon Guard tomb. A former student seeks a solution to the threat facing elsewhere among the remains of that ancient order, and Kasura agreed to assist him. Dragons. The terrible beasts have returned to ravage the land of the Khajiit. But it won't be long before they endanger all of Tamriel. Blade Master Kasura sent me to find help. I found you. Blade Master Kasura awaits, Wayfarer. Divines walk with you. Both fare as well as can be expected. Blade Master Kasura has recovered much of her strength and started rebuilding the Abbey of Blades. We lost many, yes, but we have not given up hope. Blade Master Kasura can tell you more. I am not privy to enough details to speak on her behalf. Can you believe it? Dragons in your own homeland. See, anyone can cast. It is good to see you again, warrior. 
I want to thank you once more for protecting our abbey the night that Manimarco attacked. The fire of my gratitude still burns bright. Ah, but I digress. I have need of your aid once more. Quite correct. A former student requires my assistance, but I cannot do what is necessary on my own. Fighting the dragons that plague elsewhere seems an impossible task. But the Dragon Guard once successfully hunted them. We seek their wisdom. Tombs. I will search one, you the other, using this Dragon Guard seal. The seal will activate three glyphs, which, in turn, will reveal the entrance to the tomb. Between the two of us, I pray we find the wisdom my student requires. Will you help me? Find the three glyphs in Othrenus. Let me mark the locations on your map, along with where I think the hidden tomb lies. I prepared notes as well. Feel free to take them with you. Expert? <laughs> Far from it. I started looking into the history to help my former student. The recent Dragon Guard were defenders of the Emperor. But according to legend, in the distant past, they hunted dragons nearly to extinction. When the last Emperor of the Riemann Dynasty was assassinated, the Dragon Guard were disbanded. Various Emperors in the intervening years have formed their own versions to add legitimacy to their rule, but they were never the same. It's an heirloom my former student provided. It contains a minor enchantment that reveals hidden glyphs. I imagine it was once used as a way to pass along secret information. Now, we will use it to find the hidden Dragon Guard tombs. We can discuss that later. Right now, we have our own tasks to accomplish. Remember, the dragons are already loose and elsewhere. Just know that my former student seeks a way to fight those great beasts before the damage they inflict cannot be undone. Once you determine the nature of the three glyphs, you can use that knowledge to reveal the entrance to the tomb. Feel free to consult my notes. They should help if you run into any problems. I'll answer what I can, but understand that my knowledge is based mostly on theory and conjecture. We seek hidden glyphs that will help us open Dragon Guard tombs. At least, that is my hope. A series of glyphs act as a sort of key to the tomb they are connected to. The seal will identify which glyphs to use to reveal the entrance to the tomb. At least, that's what my research indicates. There are two tombs nearby. While you find a way to enter one, I will attempt to enter the second. This way, we will accomplish twice the work in half the time. Historical documents would be good. The more we can learn about the Dragon Guard and how they hunted, the better chance we'll stand against the dragons. If we're lucky, we may even come upon one of the legendary Dragon Guard weapons.
It appears you were as successful as I. Did your tomb contain anything of note? Interesting. I found a similar map, but to a different location. This might be exactly what my former student was hoping for. Will you come with me to the Abbey of Blades? The damage was mostly superficial, though there is still much work to do to fully restore the Abbey. My most accomplished student will meet us there. We can give him the maps to both sanctuaries, and he can decide on the next course of action. I think it best if my student introduces himself, in his own way. Here, you should carry both maps and present them to him yourself. Come, I acquired horses to speed us on our journey. We can depart for the Abbey of Blades as soon as you're ready. And the view from this approach most inspiring. Behold, my home and heart, the Abbey of Blades. Many Blade Masters earned their titles on these island grounds. Friend, it's good to see you again, Vestige. Ready to once again answer Tamriel's latest cry for help? I returned to the Abbey to help Kasura rebuild. I'm not much of a carpenter, but I do what I can. When the dragons invaded elsewhere, I knew my duty was to fight against them, and I began to search for the wisdom of the ancient Dragon Guard. Yes, yes. Maps appear to be the right age. The sanctuaries they lead to may well contain the knowledge and relics I seek. We must visit these sites as soon as possible. I just need a little time to study them and determine their orientation. Speak to Kasura. She uncovered an ancient dragon guard tool known as a grappling bow. Such a device may prove useful in our journey to come. Why don't you try to figure out how to best utilize it? Speak quickly, for the sand in the hourglass never stops falling. As far as I know, I'm the last of the Dragon Guard. Once my duty was to protect the Emperor and defend the Empire. Now... Now I must carve a new path from the legends of old. Now I prepare to hunt dragons. Someone needs to take up the mantle. Besides... Faith and legends go hand in hand. They are the whetstone that sharpens my blade. Let us see where my faith in no legends takes us before we dismiss the notion that my predecessors were dragon slayers. Ah, our grand battle within the Daedric realm. I was ready to lay down my life to protect Tamriel from Molag Bal's dark schemes. Then the battle was done. I was looking for a new purpose, when I heard that dragons had returned to elsewhere. A noble goal, wouldn't you agree, Vestige? Evil must be defeated. Innocence must be protected. And so we continue to fight. At this point in time, I know of no greater evil than the dragons that rampage over elsewhere. Meet with me by the stables after you speak with Kasura. Warrior, 
Did Saisahan find the maps as interesting as I expected? Ah, yes. The grappling bow. A most useful device. Like someone combined a crossbow with a grappling hook. Loose it at a grappling point and the chain retracts to drag you toward it. So we believe. The device requires incredible skill, however. So far, none of my students have mastered it. Why don't you give it a try? Gather the grappling bow from behind the statue next to the stables, then return here to begin your training. I expected you to rise to the challenge. You'll find the grappling bow behind the statue near the stables. Well, I can certainly tell you what Sai has told me. When the Dragon Guard hunted dragons, they each crafted their own grappling bow. This one was found in a Dragon Guard's grave. Dragons fly. Dragon Guard do not. Instead, the Dragon Guard utilized the grappling bow to reach higher ground. At least, they did so whenever high points were available. I don't think any of us will have time to train to that level. With a little practice, however, it could serve as a means for achieving out-of-reach places. I think that's the best we can hope for in this particular instance. Ready to train with the grappling bow? Use the grappling bow to get up to the roof of the training hall and light the brazier you find there. That will demonstrate your innate skill with the device. After that, talk to Sai and see if he's ready to decipher the maps. Start on the ledge of the building behind us. Merely follow the grappling points until you reach the roof of the training hall. Good luck, warrior. And please, try not to injure yourself.
This old warrior has deciphered the first map. It leads to the Windscour Temple, hidden atop the ruins of Hoonding's Watch. I saw the light of the brazier. I take it you were able to utilize the grappling bow? Excellent. As the saying goes, a weapon is only as reliable as the soldier who wields it. With that being said, it would be best not to drop the device. It's incredibly old. Now, are you ready to depart for Windscour Temple? Anything we can use against the dragons. Tomes describing hunting techniques and strategies. Weapons. Honestly, whatever appears to be useful. If you spot something of value, let me know. Let's be on our way then. Kasura has agreed to let us borrow her horses. The sooner we search these Dragon Guard sanctuaries, the sooner we can uncover their secrets.